Was, was that? Did that happen last time we were in Curious Story? Uh, it's been so yes. long. <laughs> I remember that part. Oh yeah, where we couldn't drive because like... For some reason we couldn't stop, switch seats, and this guy can't drive straight down a road. Hmm. Right, last time we went to, to we were with Kiryu, we were at like Tojo HQ, I believe. Mm. That stuff at the beginning of this flashback was like two chapters, two Kiryu sections ago. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, our mission is to go recover Makoto. Koitska Makimura Makoto Taksareta Hudo Sanyate. Hora. It's really weird that we're having this little uh flashback to the end of Majima's chapter. Yeah. Like immediately after Majima's chapter ends. Mm -hmm. I mean, I it, it makes sense if you're, you know, taking a break between uh chapters, like I probably did. When recording, but, but well, uh, I mean, unless you take a you take a voluntary break to do side quests, and, I don't know. I I guess I just feel like whenever sequences like that happen in a video game, it should at least be through the, like um a like cinematic replayer function rather than like built into the sequence itself. Right, right, but like. Between the end of Majima's chapter and this chapter, like, all we've gotten was the flashback of what Kiryu was up to last time. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's like, if you go play straight through, you, you, you end Majima's chapter, you get, you get a recap on Kiryu's story up to this point, and then you get a recap on the end of Majima's chapter. Yeah, it's just like a lack of confidence in the player's ability to remember stuff. Yeah. Anyways, who's this guy in the white again? Uh, I don't know. I think his name's Kiryu. No, no, no. Let's go by the guy. test box. That's Kiryu. Oh. Oh, so he must be Oda then. I mean, who would ever dress in that white, orange, gaudy, fake chain on his collar? I never noticed the fake chain. <laughs> you know, that shirt's very loud. It makes a, a loud statement. But I think... That shirt could be shinier. Alright, yeah, that's true. セラっての方も立花不動産のもんか。いや、登場会の人間だ。日教連って組織のな。日教連。聞いたことねえな。俺もよくは知らねえが、そのセラって男は。I'm thinking about it. I'm not sure the Nikyo Consortium ever really matters outside of this game. <laughs> Like, I'm not sure they're in the other Yakuza games. I mean, maybe they dissolve after this one? That is entirely possible. <laughs> Can't believe we gotta go play secretary now. Or 
All right, drop kick that guy off the bridge. <laughs> no, Kiryu yeah. would just uh, toss the dude right over the rail. Yeah. Kicking the dude off is Majima's thing. Yeah, get back to Majima's story, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think it'll be that long before we're back to Majima. Anyway, uh, Kiryu can go check out the Dragon and Tiger restaurant over here. But only if he's gone to the Dragon and Tiger restaurant in Kamurocho. Hmm. Otherwise, he just won't... He won't give a shit and just we'll just ignore it. Hmm. Yeah. Huh? So yeah, if you need to get uh, weapons as Kiryu while you're in this leg of the story, you can do it. Good luck. Hi. No custom orders though, that, that is exclusively Majima's thing. Not that I ever remember that feature exists. Uh. I looked through the menu, but it, it kind of just eh. Yeah, nothing too special. Yeah, just the basic stuff. So I probably ended up repairing a bunch of slime guns and called it a day. Well, I guess we're not going to get to visit the Grand as Kiryu. We can try again another like 20 years or something. I was just gonna say, like, let's try this place called Club Sun. Damn it. <laughs> Way ahead of you. I mean, like, three seconds ahead of me. <laughs> Kiryu's got no interest though, so moving on. Oh, I thought this might have been the shop, but no, it's this one over here. Not sure how I missed it with the big cowl up on the, uh, yeah. above the door. I also never noticed the, uh, Osaka and Mr. Libido in this cutscene. <laughs> I mean, I think it's nice that they give the, uh, all the actresses and inspirations their own credits, like, interactive room. <laughs> It's like, I hope nobody takes any screenshots or like thumbnails from this because I'm sure like, a, especially like in 2020, right? A Google image search could like easily find every movie that these screenshots are lifted from. Yeah, uh, especially do not Google image, reverse Google image search any, any thumbnail from uh, <laughs> Basically nothing in here. <laughs> if it's in here, don't reverse search it. I'm pretty sure these are all real, like, AV posters, too. Oh, no, I'm, like, 100% sure. That or their glamour shots, and they just happen to be in the same style. Uh, not that I would know or anything. Cool, cool. <laughs> That's one way of putting it, sure. And I don't want to know what, what my boss is into. Yeah. That, that said, though, I think you can make a pretty sweet game room out of a setup like this. Yeah. Yeah, 
小田さんともう二人くらいでケチなグレンタイやっとったそこに2年前一匹狼やった立花さんが現れたんや I'm not gonna lie, I, I can't picture this guy as like one of the, the leaders of a gang. えええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええ
Well, I suppose we should go check it out since this guy's so kindly offering. In case you want shit out of people. Yeah, so there's a... You can do a standard tournament where there's like 12 different uh, styles. Or you can do an endless route, which I've never actually done. See, you can't do the endless route because you only have 5 to 15 minutes before you get a call to tell you to kill back. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, let's just try the Howling Rom. And with an incomplete dragon. That's not nice. <laughs> But hey, at least you're not speedy murder thief. <laughs> so yeah, uh, the rules are slightly different from uh, when Majibo was here for the story. I believe you have to, you're encouraged to mug it up for the crowd a little bit. Each each one of these uh, arena styles has uh, different rules to them and I can honestly never remember most of them. But as an example, in, uh, say, Kiwami 1, there was a, uh, there was a rule set where you're basically... There, there are no walls, so you could get ring outs, or you could be ring, rung out yourself. Mm. I believe this one is actually, uh... It, drinks will, uh fall into the arena every so often, and they will either hurt or harm the person who picks it up. Like, this blue one here is defense up. Important when fighting a dude with 200 accidental shootouts. Right? Very, As you'd expect. A very lenient system over there. <laughs> As you can expect, uh, you're not allowed to use items. Uh... Also, event occasionally, the game will give you some kind of a uh, condition to meet, like that one there was perform a heat action, and that'll just mug it up for the crowd. Also, at some point he picked up a red potion. I don't know when he did that. some really interesting opponents you could meet in the arena. Man, I can't believe we're gonna beat up her dad. <laughs> Is that why she's always angry at Yagami? Hmm. <laughs> if only someone could have predicted his doom. <laughs> but, uh, I believe... Oh, purple one is uh, poison, which is, uh... Drains your health very slowly. Um, I believe one of the possible opponents you could fight is a bear? Of course. Dude, this is totally Tekken rules right now. Yeah, basically. But yeah, uh, to, to progress in the tournament circuit, you gotta keep playing and winning to increase your rank. Mm. So it takes a lot of grinding. Fun. Yeah, there's a reason I don't bother with the uh, arena most of the time in these games. Uh, if we try to go down to this street where uh, the massage parlor was, it's, uh, it's all blocked off. And those guys on the other side of this blockade are just yelling really loudly, I guess. I mean, this is a really bad idea. Don't they know that, I mean, in terms of video game logic, if a car blows up and there's a car near it, it's going to blow up too in the sympathetic detonation? <laughs> this is a powder keg. This could probably level an entire city block, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, if only you knew, Kiryu. If only you knew. Oh, hey, look, another million yen machine. Let's try again. God damn it. Screwed over again. Oh, 
Finally, took him long enough. <laughs> Let's just uh, run to the store before these these uh, gentlemen beat us up. Of course. I'm not 100% sure if this is the uh, video shop that Majima goes to. You know, if you want him to watch videos, it might be. I feel like it's a different, it's a different store, but... Rather not think about it personally. Unfortunately, to do one of Majima's friend events, you have to... You have, he has to go watch like 15 videos. I'm just so lonely. Lonely enough that he's willing to go befriend Mr. Libido. And watch it with somebody else. <laughs> Thankfully, Majima never has his booth crowded by someone else. I guess if you want to go do more of the arena circuit, you could. I, I guess. If you don't, are you permanently locked out of it? No, you can come back later. Okay. I was kind of hoping that'd be the case. Uh, these games have gotten better about uh, not locking you out of things permanently. Yeah. I still remember, like, uh, when Doc M was doing the Yakuza 1 PS2 LP, like, he mentioned to me about how if you mess up on some side stories, uh, you would miss out on 100% side story completion, which means you can't fight the bonus boss. Right, right. And I am so glad that the, the, these games have stopped doing that. Yeah, it's kind of shit when you like you're locked out of something, yeah, especially like if you just happen to do something like by accident. Yeah, I'm not sure if the, uh, the remasters of like three or four still do it, but I hope they don't. Mm. あ。それで誰にも居場所がいや、聞くまでもね。彼女。ここ何日かずっとヤクザに詰められてたらしい。周りで死人も出てるってよ。何にしても土地に執着もねえし、さっさと手放したいそうだ。そうか。よし。それじゃいいか。女連れ出す段